hello guys good day and welcome to my channel so on today's episode i'll be cutting a semi a-shaped skirt i really do not know the actual name but this is not a full a-shaped skirt this is going to be a semi a-shaped um skirt so if you're new here thanks for joining please subscribe to my channel and uh, let's move on to the to, to this tutorial so first off what i will do is to fold the fabric into two I'm going to be folding right sides facing each other like I always do. So I am going to do it this way. So let me explain guys. This is how you cut an A-shaped skirt. If you want to cut an A-shaped skirt, an a -shaped skirt or a semi-A-shaped skirt. Now remember that from your hip, everywhere becomes free. Or from your waist everywhere becomes free around the skirt so what you should do is take your hip measurements then add five inches extra allowance plus two inches extra allowance for hemming i repeat take your each hip measurement five extra inches plus two extra inches that's going to give you seven extra inches now let's assume that your waist is 40. remember you're going to divide it by four so if you divide your waist by 4, it's going to give you 10. Then you take 10 plus 7 inches allowance, which is going to give you 17. So that is what you work with. Now, I am going to draft this. I'm going to use this measurement. Take the person's measurement and explain to you. So the person's hip now is 53. I'm going to divide 53 by 4. Then I am going to add extra 7 inches allowance. Let's proceed. So now the hip of this person is 53. What I will do is I will first take the full length of the skirt. So I am going to subtract the half length from the full length of the gown because it is actually a gown. So the full length of the gown is 59. This is how I am going to place my tape roll to get the actual measurement of the skirt. Since the half length of the person is 18. Since the half length of the person is 18, I am going to start my tape row from 17 inches. Or 16. So since the half length of the person is um, 18, I am going to start my day pro from 16 inches. So from my 16 inches, I am going to measure the full length of the gown. The skirt's length is, um, the gown length is um, 59. So I'm just going to measure 60. So after this, I'm going to take the hip measurement, which is a um, 13 one quarter. So let's measure 13 one quarter. This 13 one quarter plus seven inches. Let's check if this other spaces, you see. You still have more space remaining. So I am just going to fold it in. Make material goes. Okay, so I think this should be okay. So what I'll do is I would come to the waist side and I will take the waist measurement. Our waist measurement is 39. 39 divided by 4 39 divided by 4 is 9 to the quarter so I'll come here and I'll take my 9 to the quarter plus 2 extra inches allowance and I'm going to come down 
one now by 10. I'll take the if measurements 13 3 quarter, 13 1 quarter rather, plus 2. Then a new, a new, what's wrong? A new is twenty four, but I'm going to make use of twenty two. Let's go up a bit. So from here, if this place is a 13 and a half, thirteen and a half, I'm going to make use of two of here. Or should I see? Thirteen and a half. Thirteen and a half plus two. Sixteen. Then for here I'm going to use. Now the line cannot show properly, but what I did here is the line cannot show properly at all. But what I did here is I took the waist measurement, the hip measurement, then the new measurement, then from here, and from here, I just did that slant to that end side. If you look properly, you should be able to see it. So I'll just go ahead to cut it out. So now you see you see that the shape is already for me you can see how it is looking this is what we call an a shape sketch so where i made this curve from was from the new i actually knew it's 24 i now went up by two inches and made the curve so this is the shape and this is how it is going to be looking it's already forming that um, a shape so i'll do the same thing for the back of the dress so now to get my back this is what i will do So after laying the material, after folding it into two, I will carry the front piece that I have cut. Then I'm going to place it on this material like this. The only difference between the front and the back is that I would be leaving two inches allowance from this um, folded side but the cutting is going to be the same.
Hey, so this is it. I've actually arranged a skirt. So after this, I would go ahead to cut it out. Now, you see the space that I left from this side to this side. This is where the zipper allowance is going to be connecting to. So it is very necessary when you want to have your zipper allowance. And you know it's a tight dress. It's a body firm dress. So I think it is necessary for the zip to be there. I'll go ahead to cut this out. If the skirt was supposed to have this um, um this is a if this a shape skirt was going to have uh, a flare at the back just like that the way the other side is then from this side you're also going to leave not seven inches this time the reason why i said you should leave seven inches here was because of the two inches extra allowance but for here you're going to be leaving five inches extra for this back side this back side is going to have five inches extra allowance so what you will now do is from the new side you will go in by one inch from this new side you will go in by one inch and then you just after as you're cutting your opening the zipper side you just go in by one inch like this to make it come in just like this then you make your a shape to this side that's how you get the A-shaped flare for this back side. That's all for this tutorial, guys. Thank you all for still sticking by. If you do not understand my explanation, I believe that you understand the process of this video. Please do not forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notification bell as I'll be posting more tutorials. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.